right, I'd like you to title this new page, Slope. And in our work today, we've started already using, with our lambda plane activity, a pretty famous equation that is typically written as y equals mx plus b. This equation has a name. It is known as slope-intercept form. And I want to show you in the equation where the slope is and where the intercept is. And again, you've already started to use these as you've been working on landing your airplanes. This place where the M is, that's the slope part. And I'm going to show you on my dry erase here the notes I still have from that one slide we were just looking at. It didn't matter what order it was in, whether the one half X was at the end or if it was here in the middle, that half connected to the X, that's our M. This half or one half was what was telling us how steep that line was. And if you remember, when you first clicked on that screen, it said y equals negative 7 plus 2x, or 2x plus minus 7, right? When you change it from a 2x, the, the, if my pen was the line, the 2x was about like this, and then the 1 half x did this, didn't it? It made the line less steep. That's because we changed this number. And that's what the slope is here. It's telling us how steep the line is. Oops, I knew I shouldn't have tried that. <laughs> I just smeared this up. What did this minus 7 tell us, though? It was telling us where that airplane was on that axis when we were going up and down, right? It was at minus 7. That's because this is what we call the y-intercept. And the y-intercept tells us on a graph, if we have a line, where it's crossing the y-axis. And that's why this equation, y equals mx plus b, is known as slope-intercept because it has M as the slope and B as our y-intercept. These two become numbers. The y and the x stay. Again, look at my smeared equations. Every one of those has an x and a y in it, don't they? And then the other places are taken with numbers. So when you were first raising that airplane on that very first screen up and down, you were moving it up and down this axis. That was changing this number. When we started playing with tilting the line, we were playing with this number here. Does that make sense? The equation is helping us make decisions about where the line's going to be. Okay, now. Not only do you get to do one of my favorite Desmos today, but you get to see one of my favorite YouTube videos ever. And in your notebook, we're going to get ready for it. Come down about two thirds down on your page and draw a little line over. And then we're going to draw a mountain going up. And the mountain's going to drop back down. And then we're going to have a flat like meadow or valley. And then the line is going to drop off like a cliff. Are we ready for that? 